Shalom, shalom. Today, this is Monday, the 16th of October, 2023. Yom Shani, the first of Tishrei. Ah, not Tishrei. We are in the month of Heshvan. In the month of Heshvan. can see down here 57 year number 5784 in the Hebrew calendar it is Rosh Chodesh Mar Cheshvan okay this is the eighth month of the year in the Hebrew calendar Mar Cheshvan means uh, the part Mar in the beginning is bitter uh, may stand for bitter Mar Cheshvan but it's the eighth month of the biblical, of the Hebrew calendar. The reading for this one is from Numbers chapter 28 from verse 1 to 3. Numbers chapter 28 from verse 1 to 3. I will read and then afterwards. Numbers chapter 28 from verse 1 to 15. And then I'll do the breakdown. Numbers chapter 28 from verse 1 the reading that comes in the beginning of a new biblical month. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, My offering and my bread for my sacrifice is made by a fire. For a sweet savour unto me shall ye observe to offer unto me in their due season. And thou shalt say unto them, This is offering made by a fire, which ye shall offer unto the Lord, two lambs of the first year without spot day by day, for a continual burnt offering. One lamb shalt thou offer in the morning, and the other lamb shalt thou offer at even. In the tenth part of an ephah of flour for a meat offering, mingled with the fourth part of an hin of beaten oil. It is a continual burnt offering which was ordained in Mount Sinai for a sweet savour, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And the drink offering thereof shall be the fourth part of a hin for the one lamb. In the holy place shalt thou cause the strong wine to be poured unto the Lord for a drink offering. And the other lamb shalt thou offer at even as the meat offering of the morning, as the drink offering thereof, thou shalt offer it, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. Verse 9. And on the Sabbath day, two lambs for the first year of the first year without spot, and two tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil, and the drink offering thereof. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. Verse 11 to 15, where my emphasis is. In the beginning of your month, ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot, and three tenth deals of flour for a meat offering, mingled with oil for one bullock, and two tenth deals of flour for a meat offering, mingled with oil for one ram, and a several Tenth deal of flour mingled with oil for a meat offering unto one lamb, for a burnt offering of a sweet savour, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And their drink offering shall be half an hin of wine unto a bullock, and the third part of an hin unto a ram, and the fourth part of an hin unto a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering unto the Lord shall be offered beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. That is the reading for the new month, for the beginning of the month, from Numbers chapter 28, from verse 1 to 15. And my emphasis is from 11 to 15, from verse 11 to 15. We see that God instituted, Yahweh instituted the festival or the feast of the new moon, every new moon. He expected or commanded the children of Israel to come and offer a burnt offering. Okay? There were in three categories. There was meat, 
two bulls. Okay, uh, I was trying to figure out if I was going to offer two bulls. How many years would I do it annually? Or yeah, two bulls is quite expensive. But to think about a nation of maybe two million to maybe uh, five million. Yes, two million to maybe five million people. They are now 10 million Jews, but at that time they were probably 2 million. Two bulls per month, one ram, and seven year lambs, yearling lambs. A lamb that was a year old. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. So, okay. So, two bulls, population of, um, if I'm, Think um, between two million to so I'd imagine like the tribe that like, like the I'm from the Luya tribe the Luya tribe two bulls per month and then one ram and then seven year playing lambs okay and they should be tamim they should be I hope I got the correct Hebrew word they should be spotless let me speak to the English spotless spotless without blemish now with the bulls. With each bull, there should be three tenths of a choice meal, choice flour. That is, choice flour that is mingled with oil. So there's a meat offering, burnt offering of meat, okay, burnt in the fire, and then mingled. So for each bull, three tenths of choice flour. For each ram, two tenths of choice, and seven yearling rams. So two bulls, the chapo, uh -huh, this for the chapo. It would be ugali except for the oil, and then libations of wine. So half a hin, a third of a hin, a quarter, half a hin for two bulls and three tons. Uh, then a third for the rams, and then quarter for them. Since we're going to study this every month, we shall keep on building upon it to find out what the hymns were and all this, and see if we can get graphics into it as we go along. And the final thing was a goat. And I thought to myself. What if every end of the month God wants to eat this, okay, with his people? Okay, and I thought to myself every month in one sitting, I wouldn't even this is a buffet. This is beef, this is ram, this is lamb, okay. And there's mbuzi choma there, there's kondo marambili, mekomana, a little one, tender one, mature one, and then there's chapo or uh, uh, we like ugali, but it's chapo here because of the oil. And then this, this wine. Monthly, this is a bash. Okay, a nyama choma bash every month to eat with the Lord. He insisted that he wants to eat with the people. For them to do two things. Burnt offering, the burnt offering was for a sweet savor. I didn't write that down. A pleasing aroma of fire to Yahweh. So this was a sweet savor. And this is a sin offering. Okay, so we would repent of our sins every month and would enjoy, have a meal that does two things. It brings pleasure and um, um, oh, oh, we, we sin offering for the, love, for the month before, okay, for the forgiveness of sins. Um, basically, those are two things, a pleasing aroma of fire to you. It just hit me that it... How wonderful it would be yeah how, how wonderful a thing he has instituted uh, as we do it every month we find out where he got tired with the uh, monthly offerings the new moon uh, festivals and then uh, there are also full moon ones yeah but the new new moon festivals and um, and, and the sabbaths and all that but I'm grateful that he would institute something like this a bash to eat with his people and for them to uh, come clean every month. Heavenly Father, I thank you for such wonderful laws. Thank you for this new month of Cheshvan, uh, Mark Cheshvan, uh, uh, the bitterness, uh, the connotation of bitterness of the Mark. Thank you that you, you instituted, O Jehovah, uh, that every new moon, every every month, you would want us to eat together in a machoma with chapos and wine. What a wonderful thought. I pray that you move from mere thought to action. And, and I'm busy that with the 
forgive, remind us of forgiveness of sin and reminding us of these things. I pray that as we go along month after month, as we not only study but also just take time and just eat and savor this different taste set that our minds um, as experience the as experience the eating of the meat and the chapels of the wine and the boozy choma and the pleasing aroma of it being roasted open fire and the taste of it. As a nation, as a people, thank you for such as such things that bring your people to you. Teach us your ways, teach us how to fellowship, how to build genuine, authentic fellowship with your way. How to worship you your way. You're worthy of praise. I pray for forgiveness specifically this month for uh, the last three feasts we were able to uh, gather your people to the extent that um, uh, forgive me for what I was able to do. I didn't, I didn't build a sukkah yet I had all the materials. And, um, had the, the peace and space in my compound. compound. For other things that don't come to mind but especially for Sukkot. I pray for your forgiveness, for this opportunity to learn. Forgive me for the fear of man that hinders some of these things beyond resource. The, the fear to be different, to be set apart, so to speak, by the Sabbath. I see how the Sabbath sets your people apart, how the festival sets your people apart, how worship sets your people apart. Have us in us as a nation, as the Luya people, as the Kenyans, as Africans, as your church, have mercy on us. The sins we have committed before you this past month, as you bring them to end. You have not been careful with your fists. Your fists. Have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Teach us to enjoy our meals with you, O God. Our fellowship, eating together. Just how to fellowship and to build it to the honor and glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.